It's Motivation No Monday. Happy Monday, happy Monday. We are flowing on through halfway through the month. How's it treating you? Hmm? How is it treating you? So today's topic is about discovering healthy coping mechanisms. Okay, yay. And I know I've spoke about this in previous videos, but have you implemented anything yet? If not, then keep on watching. Okay, I may say it in a different way that encourages you to implement. Some of the coping mechanism is mindfulness practices, engaging in physical activities, exploring hobbies and creative outlets. Let me say this as it pertains to mindfulness, okay? I'm not talking about levitation. I'm not talking about humming and somehow astral projecting into somewhere else. Like, I'm not talking about all that. I'm talking about simply being aware. Okay, let me give it to you this way. This is the steps that take place like in our mind, right? Before we take action on something. Normally there's a thought, then there's an emotion, and then there's an action. And there may be a fourth something up in there that I'm missing. I feel like it's four. But for the most part, those are going to be our core steps. Can't think of another and so when you are able to spend the time with yourself and become mindful of the thought that triggers the emotion that results in the action of lighting x drinking x swiping x playing x game and x you just have to fill in the spot i'm not talking about anything in particular you just fill it in as it pertains to you then you're able to go wait a minute i don't really need to light x or drink x or swipe x this thought that i just had put me in this kind of emotion or mood instead let me regulate that by doing some of these other examples which is journaling let me go and work out instead let me go and make a phone call let me go and do whatever other hobby it can be garden cook it can be listening to music right and what you will slowly do is begin to rewire your brain and when you experience that thought and or emotion instead of taking action in this toxic behavior you are now leaning toward a healthier outlet and i wish that it wasn't the time that it is, and like pretty much I'm recording this at the end of the day, I'd be able to articulate myself a little better. But what I'm not able to bring across or describe here in the video, make sure you read the captions. As always, I wanna emphasize self-care and stress management. That may look like something different for everyone. Self-care could literally be five minutes. Self-care could literally be locking yourself in the bathroom in the shower and just sitting down and woosa and taking deep breaths take like five deep breaths and then get back out there self-care is getting up from your desk when your stomach is growling or your body is telling you it's time to go to the bathroom and you've been sitting there for three hours pushing through work as if the work won't be there when you get back from utilizing a tree like you know what i mean self-care just take care of yourself okay just take care drink water take care of yourself but in all seriousness, addiction is a serious topic. All right, sorry y'all, I just get a little playful. And I'm hoping that this information will assist you. Look at the resources. If you know anyone battling addiction, addiction shows up in different ways. Watch video number one to get some additional examples. And we have one more Monday.